Hi everybody, Kimberly here, and I wanna show you what I'm working on today. I am working with using these um, Peerless Transparent Watercolors. And um, my favorite things carries these in their online store. And what I have here is the complete edition. And what these are is this is a book that is full of watercolor. Okay, and what they've done is they have put very intense watercolor onto um, a paper backing. And basically this becomes um, the watercolor that you're going to pick your color off of. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create a little palette for myself to work with, um, with the Peerless. So what I have done is I have gone in and taken the piece and I have just cut a chunk off of it and I have adhered these down to just some basic cardstock. I'm doing this because this is more portable, it's easier for me to use than to try to flip through these. Plus, I don't want this to get damp or wet or anything like that on it, so by putting in here, I'm making sure that I'm saving this. If you wanted to, you could punch a circle, you could cut it smaller, however you wanna set it up, this is just kind of the way that I chose to go with this. So what I did is I took them and I cut them and I adhered them down and I wanted to make sure that they were for sure gonna stay, so I used this new um, Ultra Permanent Easy Runner Adhesive um, from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. This is also in the MFT Stamps online store and it's just a fantastic adhesive and I know that they are very secure in there. And I have written the names underneath each of these colors um, so that I know what they are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a water brush and I'm going to make a little swatch of the actual color underneath it. Now you could use just a paintbrush and water if you want to, but this is just what I have on hand so this is what I'm going to use. So you're gonna be able to see me pick the color off of here and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of color and lay it down. And you can see that the color is very intense. It's very strong, very bright, and very vibrant. And now I'm just gonna have a little bit of a swatch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna grab the dark green and lay this out. And I, I think this is gonna be helpful when I'm coloring so I know what colors I'm going to be picking up and which colors I'll be using. And I hope you can see how beautiful and intense these colors are. Now you can see um, on that sepia brown one there, let me pull that a little bit closer so you can see, um, it kind of looks like white and, and almost kind of used. It's not, um, it's just sometimes that's the way that they turn out, that's just the way the color happens to be on there and it's just the way it works out. You can see over here um, on my geranium pink, it's kind of got that same look to it. So anyway, so that's just making a swatch book and usable color so that I can see what my colors are look like and then I can take my colors off of here. As I'd mentioned before, um, you don't want to get these damp or wet because this is watercolor, so any water that gets on that is going to spread the color around. So I did want to show that um, when I put this together, how I'm going to keep it and keep this palette from getting wet. So I cut a sheet of Sweet Tooth cardstock just in half, and so that's what I did here. And it turns out that they perfectly fit in the large um, plastic um, storage bags, you know, the ones for the dyes, um, they perfectly fit. That size paper fits in there. And so now I've got these protected as I'm going to store them. And then I can just throw them in my bag or take them to the other room with me and use them really well. So just a great storage tip for those watercolors.